Before I get into any details about this mouse, I think I can sum up this video in two sentences. First, this is a really great mouse and second, you don't really need it. Now, let's get started with the review. First is the design. I would describe the design as an anti-magic mouse design and by that I mean it's functional and comfortable. And Logitech has given a lot of thought to what feels comfortable in the hand and that shows in every aspect of this mouse. A lot of companies want their mouse to be sleek and slim and however that looks great to the eye, it is not very comfortable to you. And with this mouse, Logitech has achieved both. A good design that is pleasing to the eye and comfort because I use this mouse for hours when I edit a video and I never get tired of using it. It is entirely made of plastic but it is of very high quality and the part where your palm rests almost feels like some kind of fabric, especially on the sides where you rest your thumb. But it is not, it's still plastic. This is also a button underneath. Now that's some clean design. And on both the sides it has this diamond pattern that looks great and feels great to the touch. And right next to that are three LEDs that display the battery level. And a little above that is the horizontal scroll wheel, which makes video editing so much easier. And two buttons which I use as forward and back button in the browser. And on the top there are two regular left and right mouse buttons which are soft but not too soft and have a nice click to them. And a scroll wheel which I will get back to in a second. And there is another button in the middle to change the mode of the mouse. Now, the scroll wheel is like a regular scroll wheel but better, meaning that it functions normally except when you start scrolling fast and then this happens. And this single feature makes this mouse the most fun. And if you want the mouse to always have this smooth scroll, you can change the mode by using the button I just mentioned. And all of the seven buttons are remappable to whatever function you want depending on different applications using the Logitech option software. Meaning for the browser, this button can add new tabs and for Premiere Pro, the same button will delete clips. Now, the weight of the mouse. I don't like when my mouse is a bit too light. I want my mouse to have a bit of weight to it and this mouse nails that department. It's not too heavy and it is not too light. Second is the functionality. This mouse can connect to any computer via Bluetooth and it also comes with a USB dongle if you want to use that. And it can pair with up to three devices at a time and you can switch between those using this button. And that saves a lot of time because you don't need to pair every time you use this mouse with a different device. So in theory, if you have a lot of devices, you just need to carry this one mouse and this will do your job. It charges with a micro USB cable, which I think in 2019 should be USB-C and hopefully Logitech will upgrade it in the next iteration. The charge can last for two months depending upon your use. And for the most part, you won't notice the battery because it can charge back up to full in 5 to 10 minutes. Now let's talk about Logitech Flow. It is a software that allows you to transfer small files from one computer to another without a physical connection using this mouse. And for that to happen, both the devices need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Both the devices have to have the Logitech option software and both the devices need to be paired with this mouse. And after that, you can move your cursor from one computer to another as it was the same device. But to tell you the truth, for the three months that I've been using this mouse, I've only used this feature to test this out and not really practically for any use. Uh, that could be because I mostly use one laptop for all my editing and the other I use really just for writing my scripts and some lightweight use. And I think it is just easier to transfer all your files through a USB drive. And that's all of the features of the Logitech MX Master 2S. Now let's come to my second statement of why you don't really need this. If you don't work with software that requires a lot of shortcuts like Premiere Pro and Adobe Photoshop, well, then you don't really need this mouse because then you'll not be using any of these extra button that this mouse has. So if you're a programmer, you don't really need a mouse anyway. And if you are a gamer, then you would probably prefer something wired. So there is a very small number of people that actually need this mouse for productivity. In the end, if you think this mouse is going to help you in your workflow, then go ahead and buy it. But really ask yourself this question, if this mouse will actually help you or not. And this is it for this video. 
like subscribe share and uh, i will see you in the next video Try